Hey guys, welcome back to Electrico Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you have a BMW, you guys, E4 D6, this is the 3 series from year 1998 to year 2006. And you're trying, guys, to test your purge valve. Let's say you have a problem with your purge valve. We have uh, codes such as P00, P0443 or P0444, guys, any of those two codes. And you're wondering if you have a bad purge valve. Uh, stay with us guys, we'll show you guys how to test it. Also, some of you may experience code P0440. Uh, this is a mission related to the purge valve as well. Uh, that could be triggered by this thing guys. So stay with us and we'll show you how to test it. That way you don't have to buy one, okay, unless it's bad. Uh, it's pretty simple procedure, not very complicated at all. In addition guys, uh, we'll have more than 200 videos on this car because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the new videos uh, that will be uploaded. Like the video and leave a comment below, let us know if the content was helpful. So, let's start on it now. So this is guys the purge valve right here. Uh, okay, you can see that's what it looks like. It has only two wires guys, okay, that thing has only two wires on the back side. Okay, right here, so let, let me just pass the camera to somebody so I can explain to you. Okay, you can see it has only two wires. Now, it doesn't matter which one you connect, negative or positive, you can reverse them, but it's very important not to touch each other, because if you do, okay, you can burn it and you can say bye-bye to your purge valve, even if it was good. So, be careful, guys. So, I'm going to connect two alligator clips. These alligator clips can be purchased. You can find them, guys, listed in the description of the video below. In addition, guys, okay, in addition, uh, if you want to see where we get our replacement purge valves from, check out the description of the video for a really, really good price. Those alligator clips, I just use the extension clips right here, okay, like this one. Uh, so, they can be a little bit longer and I can show you guys and uh, attach this one to the battery a little bit easier, otherwise I have to hold it with two hands. Now, when you connect it, guys, okay, let me show you now, when you connect the alligator clips to the battery, you're going to hear a noticeable click from the purge valve. Listen now. Okay, I need to adjust. Okay, I need to adjust the wires here. Okay, listen now. Okay, it's moving a little bit, so let me just reposition it here. Because it's very, very limited room and I want to insulate everything really good so I don't cause any damage. Okay, listen. Okay, if I, guys, blow air from here now, uh, the vapors from the uh, exhaust tank are coming from here and then they go through that hole out to the intake. When it's closed, you sh when you blow through that hole, air will not come out of this one. Now, I wouldn't recommend to blow with your mouth, use an air compressor, do not do what I'll do, but I'll show you. And when it's activated, the air will flow uh, freely from this hole and it will exit this one. So listen now. So, Definitely guys, okay, definitely you can hear the air going out when I activate it, so this is a good, good purge valve. Even if you twist them and you connect the positive on the other side and the negative on this side, everything is still good guys. So, hopefully the video will be helpful guys to some of you trying to figure out if you have a bad purge valve. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.